Righty oh everybody, hello, 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 welcome to this evening's stream on Train Simulator Classic. Uh, we are sat here at Crew on this first Northwestern Class 158 unit, and we're going to be running all the way down to Hollyhead today, approximately two hours in length. Oh, look at that, Virgin Trains leaving Crew. what have we got on the front there? Uh, a, uh, a Class 87 by the look of things, yeah, that's the one, lovely with a rick of Virgin Trains Mark III. So obviously this is a blast from the past. I realise uh, that some of you probably weren't even born when this came out, or when this uh, when this train was leaving this station. It's based on a real-life timetable by the wonderful Magic Toad. Uh, so we're not quite sure if we'll get there or not, but I have tested uh, this scenario, and it does seem to work. Uh, I drove it yesterday, it worked. However, he has edited it ever so slightly, so we might not get there. We shall see. Now, uh, just prior to departure, let's have a look who we've got in. We have got, uh, we've got in Ren Arriva, British Rail UK, Mike. Hello, Mike. Uh, we have got Magic Toad, of course, the man of the hour. Uh, Lewis Malik, Mr. Bus Lad. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Little stations here. Hello, Foxy AR. Welcome back to another stream. TJ Pepain Train. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, who else? The Nothing Show, Alex's Train Facts. Uh, oh, fantastic. Plenty of people. Nathan Lowe, uh, what's that music? Hopefully it means it's a good thing. Uh, I think uh, Foxy AR did answer you there. The Spring Gang can't help it. Just found it on Epidemic Sounds, you know, but it's just one of them. Doctor on Board's here. Hello, hello. Uh, oh, plenty of people. Plenty of people. Hopefully it's going to be a good stream. This appears to be one of the only trains that's currently out and about on the British Rail Network today. Uh, purely and simply because of Storm Brabin, Brabin... Uh, I'm not sure if that's even what it's called. I'm sure she's the mayor of West Yorkshire. Uh, oh, we'll take that off. Uh, but yeah, there is a storm wreaking havoc across uh, England today, so there is major disruption. Hopefully, I mean, the weather's pretty uh, pretty still. Uh, hopefully, everything will be fine today. Magic Toad, actually, if you're, uh, if you're listening, of course you're listening, while you're at it, uh, another scenario, maybe from tonight, with awful weather uh, across the Hope Valley on an East Midlands 158, if they're running. I know, uh, obviously, there's a lot of disruption, so that, a nice disrupted scenario, that'd be, uh, that'd be an interesting one to do in the future. Now, uh, where we're calling today, obviously this service will be operated by Transport for Wales uh, today. Oh, it's Storm Babbitt. There we go. Thanks for that, TJ. Uh, Imran says he was on this unit the other day. Obviously, uh, this unit has since become a three-car. It's one of Northern's three-car 158s with an extra carriage added in uh, when it became Northern Rail, uh, which came from a Transpennine unit. So, uh, yeah, if you look at the carriage numbers, you've got 52, 756, 57, 756, and the middle carriage is like 50... 6812 or something. It might not be that, but uh, it's a completely random carriage number. There we go. We'll, uh, we'll get, a, get it in forward, get it in gear. Right, off we go. Full steam ahead. Yeah, set in 1999. This is the back end of regional railways, so you will see uh, plenty of interesting liveries about the network. I mean, we've already seen an Intercity Class 87 with uh, with the Virgin Trains Mark 3s on the back. So that is looking, uh, you know, there's going to be plenty to see, and that's what I really like about this scenario. Uh, from all generations, there's old stuff, there's, well, what would have been new stuff at the time. Gazza J, hello, hello, welcome to our stream. Gazza, how are you doing? Right, off we go, out of crew. Look at that. Anything else to see in crew while we're here? It doesn't look like there's an awful lot. Of course, you think everything you see at crew nowadays just isn't there. All right, you see 158s, but not Cummins engine ones. Okay, maybe East Midlands might run a 158 down here, but obviously 1999, there's no 170s here uh, for East Midlands. There's no Pendolinos, no Voyagers. There's no 350s, so the, the crew is completely different. Uh, Mr. Bus Lad, might play City Bus Manager whilst watching this. Absolutely. That's, uh, that's the sort of thing I can get behind. Uh, absolutely love a bit of City Bus Manager. Now, uh, full steam ahead. Call in today at Chester, Pristatin, Rill, Colwyn Bay, Landudno, Bangor and Hollyhead. So it really is a semi-express service. We're not calling it uh, ridiculous little places like uh, Shotton and Flint. Can you look a bit more up? Sorry, Pepain Train, am I looking too much at the dash? Got a, a lovely 37 there with a rake of Mark 2s. Mark 1s. Mark... Twos, yeah, Mark Twos. There we go. Oh, look at that! Doesn't it sound good? Really uh, is. Oh, are they Mark Two A's? I don't know. They might be. But I mean, I love the regional railways livery. Always stunning. Love it. But this first Northwestern livery really does suit the 158, doesn't it? It's uh, it's a livery that I do miss. Really do miss it. 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. Get on it, Mr. Bust Lad. Uh, Mike says, want to try some Magic Toad scenarios? Get them at his uh, at his website. Yeah, make sure you do that. They are very good when they work. Uh, <laughs> the thing with Magic Toad, I, I give him some stick. His scenarios, he puts so much effort into them. The problem I tend to find with the crashes is they're all done to a real-life timetable. He finds out all the unit numbers, what should be where. It's, it's The level of detail is incredible, but sometimes Train Simulator just struggles to cope with it. You know, it's, it's they are so in-depth. Um, we are really, really looking forward to the 142 release uh, from Armstrong Powerhouse. That will be coming in the future, in the not-too-distant future. Uh, we, he really cannot wait to get his claws into that and get some fantastic scenarios. I mean, you've got them for the North Wales coast, which we're on now. You've got them for the Huddersfield line between Manchester and Leeds. The Harrogate Loop, the York Direct Line, you've got obviously all the Hope Valley, there's so many, so many northern routes, Blackpool, uh, that you can run with that 142. So we, we're really going to get as money's worth out of that. Uh, Foxy AR, let's hope the game doesn't crash today. Jasmine has become a member. Welcome to Joe Plus, Jasmine. I, uh, I hope you enjoy your stay. Ryanworth Valley, very, very well, thank you. I'm nice and uh, at home, cosy. Uh, in my onesie currently, but I do have to work again at 20 to 2 in the morning, so uh, hopefully everything will settle down in terms of the weather. I don't really want my car to turn into a boat on the way to work. Uh, I, Aaron Beardmore, uh, Class 158 Transpennine Express livery was always nice, absolutely. The Northern Spirit with the burgundy and the gold. There really has been some stunning liveries over the years. It, it does make me sad that quite a lot of modern liveries now they're just not as they're not as brilliant, are they? I mean, I quite like the new East Midlands livery, the purple. I don't like the white with the, the terrible burgundy on the front. That's colour of that bridge, isn't it? Uh, that we're just about to go under. But yeah, if they had the purple like what they've got on the one seventies, that would really look good on the uh, on the one five eight side thing. So uh, we'll, we'll see if they're going to do that. We'll see if we uh, if we're going to do that. If they're going to do that. So. Uh, nothing sure. I'm very very well. I'm very well. How are you? Magic Tools put three dots. I'd be nice. I'd be nice about your scenarios. They're just temperamental because there's a lot going on in them. Uh, Imran, oh, tell me about it. That's no good, is it? Yeah. Looking at the uh, the pilot did well to get it down. Yeah. The uh, the the. I'm not going to say it's a crash because it's probably not. It's uh, we'll call it a mishap. You know, the mishap at Leeds today. Leeds Bradford. Uh, what do I work as? I work as a train conductor. Uh, oops, the uh, I work as a train conductor, so uh, all of, all on the go, on the go all the time. Never a dull moment. CBM Jasmine, City Bus Manager. So as a Joe Plus member, you will be, uh, you, if you watch our City Bus Manager series, uh, you'll be named as a member of staff now being a Joe Plus member. And you do also get access to an exclusive Joe Plus only series. Currently in Scarborough, it's, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. Alex of Train Facts, yeah, that is absolutely true. Uh, I'll shut this window. I can hardly hear myself think here. There we go. Right, let's... There we go. Right. Lovely. A bit quieter, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we're probably driving them out. It's probably about... Hang on, where's... Oh, hang on. Chester, Chester, Chester. There's Chester, so it's probably about here. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, it's probably about here, is Tarvin. Just just outside Chester, maybe here, because we've got the bus down to crew, haven't we? So, uh, yeah, City Bus Manager Tarvin. Worth checking out that series if you haven't. Train conducting at 2 a.m., Mr. Bus Lad. Absolutely, absolutely. The company that I work for do run uh, do run night services. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm up at the crack of dawn. Lee Almack, nice to see you doing a live stream. It's been a while. Well, it was only yesterday. <laughs> no, I, uh, I I don't think you were here yesterday. Were you leave for the uh, for the Euro lorries? But uh, yeah, it has been a while since we did a train sim stream. Uh, we do want to do more, it's just, it's just one of those things, life just gets in the way, doesn't it? You look and you think, I've not streamed in two months, how did that happen? Oh dear, I know, I know. Jasmine, I'm not good at City Bus Manager, for some reason I always go bankrupt. The issue is I make my routes too long. Yeah, the uh, the trick with that is to start small uh, immediately and then build up from small, but I realise that, uh, that can be quite difficult. Magic Toad, Joe Plus Only, also known as Only Joes. Yeah, we, we should have called it Only Joes, shouldn't we? Something like that. Maybe we'll rebrand. Rebrand. Uh, Transport Legend in Scotland, Storm Babbitt, uh, hammering Aberdeenshire and Angus with red weather warnings for rain and wind and evacuations. It's, it's scary, isn't it? It's scary stuff. I'm glad where I live, everything's um, everything's just fairly mundane. It's quite boring where I live, but boring is good. I like boring. Ishak Ali, hello, hello. Welcome to our stream. 
Ah, don't worry about it, Lee. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Imran Arriva, my favourite livery for the 158 was the TPE one, but now the Abellio Northern livery. That did look fantastic. When it first came in, I was never a fan uh, of that, simply because uh, every livery that I'd ever seen for the 158 was, uh, it had a full yellow front. Obviously the TP ones had black round the window, didn't they? But uh, yeah, the, uh, they had a full yellow front and Northern was the first livery I saw as a kid, which had the gray snowplow at the front. It's not snowplow, is it? Because it, it's not, but you know the, the gray bottom bit, uh, which obviously central trains, they were green at the bottom, uh, but I hadn't seen one of those as a kid. So I was like, oh, that's weird, why have they done that? And then it took me a while to tech to it. But yeah, Northern, absolutely stunning livery, that purple. Looked good on any train, whether it was a 142, a 158, 323. Wide variety of units, wide variety. Uh, Devan Sachdeva, sorry, I, uh, I apologise, that's probably a horrendous uh, pronunciation of your name. But welcome to our stream. Hello from India. Flipping heck, it must be late where you are. What, what four, five o'clock in the morning? If not later. Uh, did I go to Leeds Bradford Airport? No, I didn't. It wasn't me guilty of doing that, I'm afraid. I know my uh, flying can be questionable, but no, it definitely wasn't me. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure you'll all agree that the pilot did a really, really good job uh, getting that down in the weather conditions. Mr. Bus Lad, where I live, there's a lot of places on roads, for example, that get flooded. Well, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, everywhere seems to flood in the UK, doesn't it? We seem very poorly uh, equipped to deal with the weather compared to other countries. I guess because we get such a wide sort of spectrum of weather uh, compared to other places, I guess. Jasmine says, I get too ambitious because uh, I always select my hometown uh, and want to make in real life routes. In real life routes are good, we like that. Gazza J, are you going to be doing any more streams with Transport Fever 2 or City Bus Manager? Uh, probably. I find that these, uh, these driving ones tend to uh, do a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, I'd, we should do a stream, shouldn't we, at some point. I find it quite difficult, like, driving along like this is easy. Um, you know, I can keep an eye on the on the chat uh, whilst also driving along. But when I'm building something, I tend to get quite into the building and ignore the chat. And that's not right. It just happens. Uh, it's just my concentration. Well, um, I'm honestly toying with streaming. Sorry, juice. Squash, yeah. Apparently squash is a childish thing to drink, but oh, keep him, keep him refreshed. Uh, British Rail UK has damaged his shoulder blade. What did you do that for, you sausage? Ooh, what's this coming the other way? 150 stroke one. In regional railways. Lovely. Give him a wave, everybody. Looking very odd on the North Wales coast there, of course. All of the 150 stroke ones uh, are at Northern, apart from the two London North Western ones, uh, but they did transfer all to Northern for a time. Uh, so it is weird to see them on the North Wales coast, especially between Crewe and Chester. Uh, Mr. Bus Lad, oh no, sorry, I've, I've done that. Jasmine trying to pronounce uh, names. Yeah, no, it's terrible. It's terrible, isn't it? I'm terrible. Uh, we're both very well. My other half is currently at work, and uh, I am not. So yeah, life is uh, life is good at the moment. My bus was like a sinking boat. All the water leaked at the bottom, and I came looking like I'd gone for a swim. Oh no, that's no good. It's no good at all. Uh, will you do another video using the class 185? Do you know what? We've not done a 185 stream in a while, have we? I'd like to do that. Maybe uh, maybe on a Scotland. I would like to do like a stream where we go all the way from Liverpool up to Newcastle. You know, with all the different scenarios. I quite like like the um, the chaps at Alan Thompson Sim to do a merge of that. That would be awesome. Being able to go all the way up to... Uh, up to Newcastle from Liverpool. I mean, all the routes are there now, aren't they? So, yeah, it'd be pretty good. Mike, yeah, we have got some good stream ideas. I would love to... Uh, I was looking at what shifts I'm working next week. Obviously, 23rd of October, City Skylines 2. Uh, I think we are going to have... I mean, when, when is the 23rd of October? That, that's Monday, isn't it? Is that Monday? Uh, hang on a second. Odd day to debut a new game. You'd think they'd have brought it out on Saturday, wouldn't you? Because, you know, there'd be more people to play. But, yeah, Monday... Uh, is when that's supposedly coming out. Now I am working on Monday the 23rd until bang on 1900, so depending what time I get back, we might be able to do a stream on City Skylines 2, or I might just stick to doing videos. Now the problem we've got with uh, City Skylines 2 is obviously there's a lot of competition, isn't there? So I might not do streaming purely and simply because 
uh, with City Skylines 2. There's, there's a lot of other YouTubers out there, arguably a lot better than me with a lot more followers, so people might not want to watch my stream. It might, You know what I mean? It might be better to just do it as a video. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, but I think next week is going to be a City Skylines 2 week, so we're going to drop everything else off the channel and do seven days on the bounce of City Skylines 2. Unless we load it and it's terrible. Unless we load it and it's terrible. Uh, <laughs> Iceman, Evening Joe and all from the Ice Crew. Oh, the whole Ice Crew are here. Fantastic. Um, Lee Alma, yes, need to do a City Bus Manager live, then we can tell you off if needed. I know, tell me about it. I'm <laughs> We've not done a live stream, have we? We've not done a live stream. Jared Reed, 158750 Regional Railways livery with the blue Trans Pennine stripe. Wasn't that a stunner? Oh, it did look good. Oh, Jasmine says, I'm glad my bank account doesn't call you a suspicious, uh, doesn't call you suspicious anymore. That's very, very kind of your bank account, Jasmine. Although, to be fair, we all know I am suspicious. I'd be suspicious of me. <laughs> oh, Mike. Terrible, terrible. Oh, dear. LJ says, Liverpool to Newcastle is a stream I would definitely tune into as I go on that train a lot in real life. Oh, well, give us, uh, give us a wave if you ever see. I'm, uh, I'm from the north, so, uh, yeah, if you ever see... Be pottering about on the, the trains of the north. Do uh, do give us a wave. Uh, have you heard Arriva's been sold? I haven't. A couple of people mentioned it yesterday, but then again, Arriva's been been sold for years. Uh, so I'm not too sure. Uh, not too sure what's happening with that. What's the crack aviation mayhem? We are on a class 158. It's in the gorgeous first northwestern livery, and uh, we're off all the way down the North Wales coast. We left crew at 1313, and we're due into Holyhead. 15.13, so uh, it's a two-hour run. Nice, good, long run. And uh, and I hope you'll be here for the ride. Mike says we need a 175 in the ghost livery scenario. Now all the 175s have gone. I know, I learnt that last night. All the 175s have gone. They kept that quiet, didn't they? they kept that very quiet, the transport for Wales. No, like, farewell tours or anything, as far as I'm aware. I'd have quite liked to have gone on that. Uh, Imran Arida, the best 158s, 158.757. Very nice unit. Well, when uh, back many years ago I got stuck on 158.757 for an hour and a half, I was uh, I was doing some route learning down the Calder Valley route, and we got to a place called Drycliff Junction, which is the junction after Halifax. If you're heading west towards Manchester, it's the junction where you can turn left and go to Brighouse and Huddersfield, or you can turn right and go towards Manchester, at Manchester Victoria, that is. And we were coming from Manchester towards Halifax and we got stuck there and uh, and and that was because some old chap had been fly tipping on the railway he'd been emptying his wheelbarrow onto the tracks no euphemism intended there uh, and uh, and he'd fallen down the banking and crashed into the railway line uh, so we ended up getting stuck for ages and ages and uh, yeah there you go that's my little anecdote about 158.757 so I can't help every time I see it just thinking oh happy well not happy memories but uh, lengthy memories with that train Sophia have you gone past Birmingham or are you going there now no this this particular train starts in Birmingham at 12.07 but the only part of the route we've got for this is uh, in fact we could have done the full route couldn't we from Birmingham New Street we could have done Birmingham to Crewe on the uh, on the missing link why didn't we Magic Toad, why are we missing part of this route? We could have done the whole run. Jasmine says, I want you to be the conductor on my train. Chances are that will never happen. Well, I'll never say never. Never say never. Gazza J, I watched your series of the previous City Skylines and enjoyed it. Looking forward to seeing the new City Skylines too. I, I can't wait to play it. It looks stunning. I've watched all the uh, all the trailers, all the, uh, you know, everything like that. Uh, for it, very, very excited. Nathan Lowe, where are the 175s? Are you meaning in real life or uh, or on train sim? Because on train sim, they're still in the northwest of England. They're not on the North Wales coast at this point. First Northwestern have uh, have have kept them. They're on the Barrows and Windermere's at this moment in time. Obviously, in real life, they're uh, the Ilford. They've gone to Ilford for storage, so I don't know what's happening with them. Uh, Jasmine says. Okay, this is getting stupid now. I was pushed against the windows on an eclipse today. It was so packed. How does an eclipse get that packed? Oh, they'd be, it's busy, isn't it? I guess people don't want to drive with the uh, with the weather. They'd rather take the bus. Magic Toad says, because you never asked for it. Okay, fair dues. Fair dues. I'll accept responsibility this time. Uh, no, unfortunately, we don't stop at Lamfair PG. 
uh, quite how you pronounce that, Lord only knows, but uh, we can stop at Chester, Prestatin, Rill, Colwyn Bay, Handudno Junction, Bangor and Hollyhead. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good run, semi express. We'll give it a wave after we've gone through the bridge, uh, through the yeah over the bridge, through the bridge. Yet Lee Almuck says I would miss Birmingham out, and I live there. There you go, Magic Toad. It's fine. It's absolutely fine that you've missed Birmingham out. Apparently. <laughs> Right, coming into Chester. Chester, lines from the right there coming from Manchester. Right, here we go. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Let's have a look. Coming into Chester, what have we got? We'll, uh, we'll have a look out here. We've got a couple of trains uh, lurking. There's something coming in there. Looks like a 37. I mean, the 37 uh, did like... Uh, you know, the 37s did like to loiter around the uh, the North Wales coast, didn't they? Mr. Bus Lad, well, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Oh, what's that signal doing? It's fallen over. That's clever how they've done that to fit with the roof. Right, hang on, there we go, right. We'll, uh, we'll try and stop at the end of the roof. That's not happening, is it? We've blasted right down to the end. We'll make them all walk. Uh, Jasmine says, Joe, you've started an obsession for me for the eclipses. It's the only bus I drive in Omsi, and when it's a choice, I choose the eclipse over other buses. They're fantastic buses, though, Jasmine. I can understand why you would think that. I think that, too. So, what have we got? We've got uh, we've got some locos and coaches here. We've got a 158 over here. 752, not 757, Imran. We've got a 101 over here going to Piccadilly. A 101 that looks like it's on fire. Excellent. And we've got a, a 37 here. Oh, look at that. Isn't that stunning? Doors are uh, opening and shutting. Oh, there we go. Doors are shutting. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Oh, it's a good looking train, isn't it? I've never been that fond of the 37s. I've never been that fond. Um, you know, the, the, a lot of train spotters absolutely love them. I get it. They make noise. I don't think they're particularly good looking things. To be honest with you, you know this is this is where I lose a lot of subscribers in the space of five minutes. Um, oh, I love how the doors shut and open just randomly on the coaches. That's funky. Look at that! Oh, another one opened. That's really clever. Uh, but yeah, I would much rather go down the North Wales coast on a 158. Oh, whistle's going. Awesome! Look at that! Is he gonna go? Oh, oh my lord! Oh, what happened there? That didn't happen last time. Oh, Magic Toad's broken that. I mean, at least it's not crashed the game. Talking of crashing the game, let's just save the scenario, just in case. Hell, everyone, there'll have been some spilt dinners on that train. Not to 30 in, well, immediately. <laughs> right, here we are. We'll, uh, we'll pop the DRA on as well, you know, professional. It's haunted, yeah, absolutely, it's off. Oh, I know him, Ran, tell me about it. That's not good. Not good at all. Not good. Jasmine says, I love the sprinkle interior on the interconnecting clipses. Oh, is that from the uh, from when they were first? Yeah, I I, I I get why people like locos, particularly because they're a lot more um, they're a lot more rare now, aren't they? You know, locos and coaches, you don't see that many of them. Um, oh, right, okay, green signal. You don't see that many of them on the UK's rail network. There's a lot more multiple units, um, but you know, there's. Uh, but I don't get why, you know, for people that like the thrash of the engines, like a 158, you can sit in here and listen to the engines. Whereas, if you're in a, a Mark 1 coach, like three coaches back from the loco, you can't hear the loco. Change my mind. <laughs> oh, Mike's yelling at me because it's not in step three braking. There we go. Full service. It's there, Mike. It's there. Uh, what's my favourite train? I love a 185. They oh, they sound fantastic. They're lovely trains, closely followed by a 158. There's there's a lot of trains I like on the UK Rail Network. Pacers definitely up there. I, I love a pacer. Oof, controversial. Don't like 37s, but and love pacers. Give over. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly cannot wait for uh, for the pacer pack. Maybe we'll do a live stream on that. Off we go. Right, full steam ahead. Oh, 
still got step one braking in. That's not going to help, is it? Come on, try again. Oh, it's amazing how fast it sets off when you've not got step one in. <laughs> Little station, plain train sim, great game, absolutely. And train sim classic as well. It's uh, train sim classic really is just better than train sim world in every way, isn't it? All right, world might look a little bit better, but yeah, I just love this. So good. Uh, which 142 livery are you thinking of starting with when it's released? I don't know. I saw the pictures on the Armstrong Powerhouse uh, Facebook page from a, uh, a Manchester Victoria to Leeds scenario with the Northern Rail livery 142. I'm feeling that. I thought that red was outwards then for a second. I was going to say, no, we, we didn't leave on a yellow, did we? Simon Chaplin, bonjourno, good evening, welcome to our stream. Just leaving Chester on the North Wales coast, heading west down towards Hollyhead in a first northwestern uh, 158. Gorgeous livery, I'm sure you'll agree. Simple, but effective. Absolutely, Lee, not immediately. Uh, yeah, absolutely agree with you, the 91's brilliant locomotives. I preferred <laughs> another very controversial opinion, uh, which has actually ended up with me having a row with somebody. They felt so strongly about it that they felt the need to shout at me and say I was an idiot. Uh, but I would much rather go down to, uh, to London King's Cross on a Class 91 and Mark IV than an HST. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with HSTs, I just prefer a, a 91 and Mark IV. Lovely trains to travel on. Hollyhead to Manchester, class 142, North Wales Coast will be interesting. Absolutely, I agree with you there, Jared. Absolutely agree with you. Right. That, uh, that step, not step five, notch five, was pretty good, uh, pretty good gauge in there, wasn't it, for the, for the speed? Chester race course on the, uh, on the left-hand side there. Oh. Oh, it's very kind of you, Jasmine. I'm, uh, I'm glad you enjoy our videos. Train scam four is horrible. Oh. You're not a fan, Imran, I'm, I'm guessing from that statement. Sprinters Travels, the uh, the Renown is just installing. Oh, I hope you love it. I love it. It's awesome. Kevin W, what is your favourite route on Train Simulator? You know, that is an interesting question, Kevin. Uh, that is a very interesting question. Uh, I don't particularly care for uh, this route. Which might beg the question why I'm driving it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm enjoying this scenario and I, uh, just the modern day. I don't really care for driving the 175 on train sim. You can definitely tell it's one of the earlier, uh, one of the earlier packs available on uh, on on train sim. The earlier enhancement packs. I just don't particularly enjoy driving the 175. Uh, I find the North Wales Coast. I don't really like a lot of Transport for Wales's fleet, to be honest with you. There's nothing so much wrong with them, but. It's just a bit, meh. I don't know, it's one of them, you know when you don't really care for something but you can't quite work out why? Maybe it's because I don't really know a lot about this route, maybe that's why. But uh, yeah, I, I do like, I like a lot of the West Coast stuff, I like a lot of the East Coast stuff. And the Trans-Pennine route, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, it has to be the Trans-Pennine route, although I don't think it's very good. The Leeds to Manchester route, it's not great, is it? But obviously it's, it's my local route, so I, I, I quite like it. Uh, Jasmine, controversial here, but I hate the Grand Central trains and the Class 185 for TP. You don't like the 185? <gasps> oh, I need to lie down with the tea towel over the lampshade. How could you say such a thing, Jasmine? Oh, I thought we were friends. But no, the one, the 180s, I can, I can get behind that one, yeah. Although they are very, very comfortable to travel on when they're not on fire. It's, uh, they're, they're, they're an alright unit. Especially now they've done the refurb on them. Uh, they are very nice, I like them. Although I do miss the, um, the the games on the table. You know, they used to have like snakes and ladders. Aaron Beardmore has become a member. Welcome to Joe Plus, Aaron. How are you getting on with your real buses, Lee? Well, oh, the less said about that, the better. Oh, 158, which one is it? Let's have a look. We'll, we'll leave you to do that. Is it Imran's favourite? No, it's 755. Oh, Imran. We're seeing them all apart from the one you like. Mr. Buslad, I don't think I'm an employee on City Bus Manager. I'm not sure. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that, Mr. Buslad. Please accept my apologies. British Rail UK, 185's Hellfire. Uh, Simon Chaplin, yeah, 195 uh, or a 331 in Trensim. That would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? I don't really care for them. 
to travel on I think were quite uncomfortable the suspension's not particularly great um, yeah they're, they're, I, I don't really care for them but then at the same time I think they're growing on me I don't like the ZF gearbox in, in the 195s uh, the 331s three are alright but yeah the 195s I'm just not that keen um, yeah I don't know I don't know um, mm, yeah but I would like to see one in train sim don't get me wrong I would like to see one in, uh, in train sim Right, blasting along, flipping out. There's a lot going on in this chat this evening. <laughs> a lot of people here, isn't there? Uh, Imran, who said uh, 185s are... Uh, yeah, exactly, I agree with you, Imran. 185... Oh, 185s. Um, what was it? Jasmine says, My time's constantly getting the 185, but to be honest, the seats on the old livery, uh, the purple are more comfy over the star livery. Uh, I felt like the comfiness went down in the livery change. I think the um, when the new seats came in, they were a lot firmer because the padding was new. I think the padding on the old seats was quite old and had all its uh, all its bounce beaten out of it but they are the same seats with the same cushions so I think in uh, in five to ten years time the seats will be how they were because they'll have been beaten uh, beaten with people's bottoms uh, into a state of softness Connor Young may I have your attention please oh always Connor always wasn't that a great announcement when they used to say that Little Station, I'm looking forward to the OMSI 2 Omnidecker to be out. Uh, I have no idea what's happening with that project. I think it's become a Master Switch um, project, I think. I don't really know, but it, it did appear in some Master Shot, uh, Master Shot, Master Switch screenshots. So, uh, not too sure there with that one. Imran, uh, Class 195 sound, yeah, they, they are quite thrashy, don't get me wrong, yeah. I just, I don't really like the ZF on trains. I think Voith, ZF on buses, lovely. Voith on trains, mm, that's that's how it should be. Imran says, FTP is the best livery. What with the, the dynamic lines? Oof. And yeah, Simon Chaplin, 331 from Manchester Airport to Preston on train sim would be a uh, would be a stock gap filler. Absolutely, yeah, I'd like to see that route. I'd, I find that a very interesting route. Um, up, up through Salford Crescent and Bolton. I'm honestly surprised that's not been done yet. And of course, the airport line would be really, really good. It'd be great if they could add that onto the uh, the Leeds to Huddersfield line, so you could drive Leeds to Manchester Airport around the uh, around the Odsal Court. British Rail UK one five eight seven seven three and seven seven four are the A team of EMR. Are they ex Trans Pennine units? Not sure. Maybe. Oh, they can be very busy, can't they, Mr. Bus Lad? Yeah, sometimes they can... I find those trains to be uh, to be either empty or full. There doesn't ever seem to be like a, a, a sort of in-between, does there, on there? Yeah, I agree, Jasmine. Love a 158. 185s and 158s, I do like them. Do like them. Uh, what do I think of the EMR 170s? I, I like them. I like a 170. I don't think they're very fast. They're uh, they're very sluggish, aren't they? But uh, but I do like them. A year ago, you uh, did your first episode of Cross Continental America. Flipping out, was it a year ago? Didn't time fly when you're enjoying yourself. I'd have liked to have carried on with that series. We'd probably still be going with it now, to be honest with you. But uh, unfortunately, due to my computer needing uh, a new install of Windows, uh, that's why we lost that one. Very very sad, actually. I enjoyed that. What's my favourite train station? Leeds. Love Leeds station. It's dark, it's dingy, it's not a particularly pleasant place to be. But when you you know, when peak time is happening and you're dropping people off and people are emptying out of your train and you can see there's just people everywhere. There's such a hive it's such a hive of activity. I uh, I absolutely love uh, absolutely love Leeds station. What is everybody's favourite station? So let me know in the chat. Do you agree with Leeds? Ryanworth Valley 68s in their final months. Well, don't don't forget they'll uh, the 68s will stick around, won't they? Maybe not with Trans Pennine, but uh, but obviously they're not going for scrap, are they? Aidan Wilson, have you heard of Airport Sim? Do you know what, Aidan? I have. I've just recorded a video before we did this live stream, and uh, and we will be uh, that will be coming out tomorrow for everybody. If you're a Joe Plus member, it will be coming out after we've done this live stream. 
Carlisle, Hull Paragon from Aaron Beardmore, British Rail UK, Carlisle. Imran says heck. What are we hecking at, Imran? Oh, I like Huddersfield as well. I agree with that with you uh, with you there, LJ. Yeah, I like Huddersfield. Norwich station from Robert Garthwaite there. Uh, Mr. Buslad, either York or Skipton. York, lovely station. Simon Chaplin hates Leeds uh, for the weird platform numbers. And favourite station is Preston. Leeds platform 16 is horrible at 4pm, Imran. I, I see. Not a fan of Leeds platform 16. That's where all the premium trains go from, is, uh, is platform 16. Pepin train likes King's Cross. Absolutely. And Antwerpen. Is it Antwerp? Antwerp's, Antwerpen Central in Belgium. Yeah, I bet that. I've never been. Never been. It's on my list. Uh, Rhineworth Valley, Todmorden. Oh, there you go. Look at that. You'll uh, you'll have someone else that'll agree with you there. Looking forward to unmatched games. Hull to Selby. Yeah, I am as well. It's just a shame they didn't do Hull to Leeds. I think that'd be quite nice if they if they did that. But it does mean that they could potentially pair it onto you know the the, the loop line, the uh, the Harrogate loop. Hell of a route, isn't it? This. It's a long way. Ebden Bridge from Mr. Bus Lad. Gog403 likes Leicester. Jasmine Skegness to love. Uh, love that. It's not to love, sorry. The, 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 I, thought you, I thought love was a place, the way you've written that. Uh, they used to use Platform 4, but all the other tracks have the heritage of the old tracks. Platform falls modern. Oh, like, I like it when they do that. When it, you know, you can see the different eras. 68s were always DRS owned. Yes, they were. They were always owned by DRS. Uh, they were only ever on the least Transpennine Express. So uh, they all will go back to DRS uh, and probably commence freight duties again. Uh, so yeah, I wonder where that Felix nameplate is going to go. But that'll uh, that'll that'll disappear quietly, won't it? It'd be quite nice if they auctioned it off for charity. I have a feeling it might just go missing, but you never know. Imran loves Church Fenton. Fantastic Church Fenton for train spotting. Uh, oh, Aaron Beardmore, they, uh, they mentioned in a further update it will possibly extend down the line. Uh, it just depends how the release goes. Excellent. Uh, that would be brilliant. I guess it's better, isn't it, not to bite off more than you can chew? Because you look at OMSI maps as well, it's exactly the same. These uh, developers can sometimes uh, get such a route, you know, it's such a grand idea that it just never comes to release, uh, which is, you know, it's quite sad when that happens. So it's good to do a little bit, isn't it? Hull to Selby, get it done, do it well, and then work on expanding it later. Yeah, I, I agree with that mentality. That's going to be another great one for uh, for 185s, 158s, 170s. Oh! Nathan Lowe, what am I doing when I'm 27? I imagine I'll probably be still sat here talking to you lot. <laughs> no, on my birthday, uh, we have got very clear plans. We're going to go out for tea, a couple of friends, and uh, we are going to watch Chicken Run, because it is my all-time favourite film. Don't use that to log into my bank because I think that's one of my bank security questions. Um, <laughs> um, and then we are going to watch Chicken Run Dawn of the Nuggets because that comes out on the 15th of December. Uh, and uh, my birthday is not too far from that. So yeah, we're uh, that, that's the plan. I would invite everybody, but unfortunately I don't live in a castle so uh, I, I wouldn't be able to fit all of you in. Uh, but yes, yeah, that's my plan for my uh, for my 27th birthday. I think you'll agree that is a pretty solid birthday plan idea. Mm. British Rail UK is off to Germany on his 18th. Beautiful country, beautiful country. I hope you enjoy it, really do. I can't wait to go again. 170s in the northern livery, absolutely, Aaron. They do look quite good, don't they? They suit the livery. Logan Gaming and Vlogs, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, that's very, very kind of you, Logan. Very kind of you to say. Connor Young's on a different route altogether. He's off to Scotland. He's on a different train. <laughs> Jasmine says, what's going on with Arcala? It hasn't released. Uh, no, it hasn't released. Uh, Fully is still working on that. He's got some absolutely grand ideas for it. Uh, but unfortunately, like most of us, Fully does work full time. So uh, it's obviously finding time to do it, isn't it? And trying to have some sort of a life at the same time. 
Ryan says, have you been to see Keith Worth Valley Metro's 444? Oh, do you know what? I haven't. I've seen the pictures. It looks stunning. It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, I do need to make a point of going to see that. I quite like to be a conductor on that because I did used to conduct uh, 144s back in the day. I'd absolutely love to have a go at being a conductor for the day on the uh, on the Hope Valley. Hope Valley? Worth Valley even? Wrong Valley? Yeah, I'd love to, but they, they probably wouldn't like me because, you know, despite being a, a, a quali-follified uh, a quali -follified, uh, train guard, they probably wouldn't like me because they just probably wouldn't, would they? Someone else would want to do it anyway. Um, Sprinter Travels says, uh, how are you? I'm very well. I'm assuming you're liking the Renown. He says it's an absolute beast. I'm glad you like it, Sprinters. Uh, I'm really, really glad you like it. Nothing Show says, absolutely love Chicken Run. Uh, heard about the second one coming soon. Bit of a shame that Julia Sawala and uh, the other guy, the, the Mel Gibson, that's the one, are uh, the, uh, the two main characters. That's that's quite sad. They, they'll have weird, weird sounding voices, but... Yeah, apart from that, really excited. Am I a Scorpio? No, uh, a Scorpio? Scorpio? No, 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 not me. Not guilty. Jasmine says, uh, 16, on the 18th birthday I want to go to Florida and visit Disneyland. I've got a savings pot for it. That is a fantastic goal. I've never been. I'd love to. I'd absolutely love to, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? There's only so much money in the pot. Unfortunately, uh, and, and sadly, I don't have enough money to do it all. Mr. Bus Lad says, I grew up near the Worth Valley. I didn't like loud noises back then, so I'd cry when I saw a steam train. Oh, no! Poor steam trains. Oh, I love a steam train. I don't know much about them, but, you know, I can look at them and think, oh, nice, pretty. 1991 kid, 31. Uh, just been to Disneyland Paris four times. Want to go to Cali, Florida, Tokyo. Hong Kong and Shanghai. Oh, do you know what? All on my list. Love to go there. I've just noticed we're back on, uh, we're on, we're on semaphore signalling, aren't we here? We have been for quite a while. It's just me that's just only, uh, only just noticed it. Are we by the sea? Ah, oh, look, lovely docks there. Have we been past Airbus yet? They've, uh, they've got a thing down here. I think it's just our Chester, isn't it? We've probably gone past. Absolutely agree with you, Simon Chaplin. Best star sign. York City fan Jacob. Hello, hello. Joining us on um, joining us on a class 158, working our way down the North Wales coast towards Hollyhead. First Northwestern. Oh, stunning. It's not often I get excited about a livery, but that is one livery that really does. Uh, get my motor running, so to speak. Gorgeous livery. Uh, are you excited for the OMSI 2 MC Viavora? That is going to be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Jasmine says, everyone who goes to Florida, take pictures to make Joe jealous. <laughs> That's not very nice. Jared Reed, a pigeon has been discovered in a bank vault leading to the need for sort codes and bank account numbers so the vault can be opened, the bird freed and uh, we know your password, we need your details. Yeah, that's uh, that's fun, Jacker, isn't it? Love that. Oh, brilliant. There is a pigeon in your bank account, sir. We need to remove the pigeon. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Love it. That's my sort of humour. Just ridiculous. <laughs> Simon Chaplin's 26 on the 1st of December. Are you doing anything nice, Simon? Ryanworth Valley, have you thought about doing a RHTT service for a video? What, like actually driving it at the exact time? It's that'd be good, wouldn't it? That'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, definitely do love the 158. Absolutely love the 158. Curry 162, have you heard about the storm in Scotland? Oh, it's not just in Scotland, Curry 162, it's everywhere. It's down in the rural Cheshire where I currently am. So, yeah, it's everywhere. It's causing mayhem on the UK's rail network. Oh, no, my, my banking question's a genius. Absolute genius. None of you will possibly know the answer. The only person that knows the answer is me. Which is quite fortunate, because I'm the only person that should really be going in my bank account. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
this is where it turns out that I have no money in the, at the end of this video because somebody has actually gone into my bank account, figured it out and emptied my account. I say that, there's, there's not really a lot to empty. It, it would be like emptying uh, a, a small waste paper basket next to a desk rather than emptying a, a, you know, a skip or an entire landfill site. You know, you, you could very much empty it and not really notice the difference. <laughs> Particularly given that the car's now on a quarter of a tank of, uh, of diesel, so I'm going to have to go fill that up shortly. Oh, it's a never-ending expense, isn't it? Just life. Oh, dear. Nothing shows. Says Australian trains at Perth are amazingly smooth. However, the seats are awful. Are they quite hard? I always imagine Australian trains to, uh, to have quite firm seats. Massive party on the 2nd of December, and Preston just got window rain. Not link statements there. Right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Nathan Lowe, in capital letters. What's your favourite train of all time? Has to be the Class 158 uh, diesel multiple unit. I'm really wishing that Armstrong Powerhouse would get their hands on the 158. You know, give it better physics, better sounds. There's nothing particularly wrong with the 158, it, uh, the 158, the 185, sorry. It does the job, but it's, it's just one of them, isn't it? I'd just love it to uh, just be ever so slightly nicer to drive. We have left the braking quite late here, haven't we? It's a good job Pristatin's quite a long, uh, lengthy platform. Jasmine, uh, scared of the river next to me is flooded. Focus isn't up, focus is to watch you. Excellent, just go upstairs, love, you'll be fine. As long as you're not downstairs, you're fine. MKBE, we don't even know who you bank with, so we don't really, you don't really have a problem. That is a point. That is a very good point there. I realise I'm going to go whizzing past this stop board. Never mind, it's a sunny day. They can all walk down the platform. <laughs> oh, Thomas Foster's off to see the new Kirby Headbolt Lane station tomorrow. That really confused me when I was stood at Victoria the other morning. They were they were doing the automated announcement and it was the, the 05 something or other northern service to Headbolt Lane. I was like, where? <laughs> I'd never heard of it. Um, I didn't know they were they were building. Uh, I didn't know they were building a new station. Oh, they built a new station because it's it's there now, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, head to Bolt Lane. They don't got a Kirby anymore. Uh, what do you prefer, one fifties or one five eights? One five eights every day of the week, Monday to Sunday, inclusive. Oh, it's just a, such a good looking train. I love it. What time are we at? Prestatin fourteen hundred. Oh, we've got a little bit of time here. Pepin train, what's the train number that we are driving? It is 158756, which uh, would be unlikely to be Great Western uh, because it's a northern uh, three-car unit now. It's had an additional carriage put into it in the Abellio northern days. It's been a three-car for a good many years, but uh, yeah. What's this coming the other way now? It's another Magic Toad, zero to 60 mile an hour in, uh, in the, s the blink of an eye. I'd just rather be on the 158 than the 37. Someone's going to lob a brick through my window in a minute. It's a good job none of you know where I live, isn't it? All these absurd claims. Look at that EWS. Oh, it does look good. It's just weird to think like little four cars. Just little four cars pootling up and down. And that was just the norm, wasn't it? A couple of Mark 1s, Mark 2 on the back. Anyway, what? We'll, uh, we'll save it there. There we go. I have no uh, sort of worries that this is going to be a problem because it's not. I've already driven this and it's fine. But it's better to be safe than sorry, isn't it? The AP142 does look the part, Imran. I know, I'm so excited for that. So excited. When's the next Transport Fever 2? Uh, it will be coming on Monday. The usual uh, the usual time, Monday. Uh, oh, hang on. Monday. Ooh, yeah. Tell you what we'll do. Right. Yes. Uh, Transport Fever 2 Monday, and then we'll, because it, it, City Skylines 2 comes out on the Monday, doesn't it? So we'll do Transport Fever 2 on the Monday, so that could come out at 1pm, and then uh, we'll go with City Skylines 2 from the Tuesday. That'll be the full week, so we will have a slight uh, delay in, uh, in, in things. Where's Class 158751? I don't know, Nathan, that is a very good question. Is it one of the ones that was chopped up and put in the middle of something else? 
No, no. Actually, that's a very interesting one. 158751, anybody? Anyone seen it? Let's try and set off without leaving the brakes on this time. Let's just nip across in front of me. Christopher Madden, if this is in Wales, why is it not in the Transport for Wales livery? Well, Christopher, this is in uh, 1999. Uh, it's from quite a while ago, and it's when first Northwestern, back before it was Northern Rail, because it was uh, Arriva Trains Northern which did services in the east, first Northwestern did services in the west, and uh, first Northwestern actually ran all the North Wales coast services. So, uh, yeah, Transport for Wales, not a thing back then. Not a thing. Did I say 1991? I meant 1999 if I did say that. Uh, leaving Prostatin now, 1400, your next stop, Rill, in five minutes' time. Just less that. Simon Chaplin, bloody looking forward to the Class 142. I think you need to do a city bus manager for Preston. That's, yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. I like Preston. Imran says, 158756 is currently working 2 kilo 30, the 1917 Halifax to Hull. So it's said in a completely different way, the actual real thing, isn't it? Uh, Magic Toe said 158751 split into 158950 and another. That'll be a great Western contraption, won't it? They have the three cars with one extra bit of driving cab in the middle. Oh, it makes you sick, doesn't it? Trainspotter, oh my god. Hello, hello, welcome. Joining us in uh, North Wales. North Wales. And we have actually crossed the board now. Preston apparently has the largest bus station in the UK. It looks like a load of giant malted milk biscuits stacked on top of each other, doesn't it? MKBE, Arriva Trends Wales happened in... Uh, sorry, there's a, there's a thing in the way. There we go. Uh, happened in the middle as well. Yeah, the um, I can't remember when Arriva Trends Wales actually came about but obviously it was Wales and Borders, Wales and West, it was all that wasn't it and then was it something like 2002, 2004 that they they came about? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Uh, again agree with you there Kieran's Travels, First Northwestern was a really smart livery, it was, it really was and still is, I mean looking at it now, beautiful, that, that stripe, a stripe always works well on a train, it, it just does. Uh, Imran 757 works to Lima, or to India, sorry, 19-1449 Wigan to Leeds. Oh, so it's gone to Leeds today, has it? Excellent. Flying Scotsman did have a minor crash, didn't it? Not good. I think most of us probably saw the video there. Not good. Not quite sure how that happened, but I'm sure, uh, like anything, there'll be a, uh, there'll be a reason. Uh, we'll have a bit of braking for Rill. I do like Rill. There's there's nothing particularly exciting about Rill other than it uh, holds some just rather special memories for me. Just, just quite a nice, you know, it's it's just nice, isn't it? It was where when the uh, the 14 plate Enviro 400s came to the uh, the Route 12. So this is what 2014. Uh, I was invited by the uh, the MD of Arriva North, uh, Arriva Wales. Very, very nice chap. Still talk to him now. Lovely chap. He's retired now. But uh, he got talking to my grandma and granddad on the plane uh, from Prague, because he likes his Prague uh, Prague trams. He goes over quite a bit. And uh, my grandma and granddad, oh, my, my grandson likes uh, buses and got chatting and that, that, the rest is history. But, uh, yeah, very, very pleasant chap. And uh, we went over to Wales to see him. And uh, we went round various depots, Arriva, uh, Rill Depot, which has actually been demolished now. The depot's still there, it just doesn't have a ceiling on it. Look at the 142. 142! Ah! And uh, Banger Depot, there's, uh, yeah, plenty of, I mean, look at that. Look at how good the 158 looks, and look at how utterly, utterly dreadful the 142 looks compared. I mean, that, that new 142 is going to look so good, isn't it? GMPTE livered there. 
Sounds like a lawn mower, doesn't it? Wearing arguably the better train. But when that new 142 comes, uh, I tell you what, Magic Toad, uh, whatever that is, whatever that train is there, find it. Hang on. What am I saying? Yeah, find this train. What it, What is it? It's 142063. Is that the one? 63? I want to drive 142063 and be in real at 1406 going that way. And I want to drive this exact train so that when we're sat in real, we'll see the 158 coming the other way that we've driven. That'd be awesome. If it's not too much to ask, of course. Uh, nothing shows back. The weather's kicked you off. That's no good. That's no good. <laughs> Flipping heck. Uh, can't wait for the 142. The Mersey Rail variant looks good. Oh, it does. It does. I think the 142 is going as well. Flipping that. It's another quick one, isn't it? They always were quick, the 142s uh, on train sim. Gazza J, would you be able to make me an employee on City Bus Manager? I will absolutely make sure that happens, Gazza J. Don't you worry. Oh, York City fan Jacob has to go. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much for joining us. And, uh, yeah, there'll always be another time, won't there? 142063 last ran with Northern, according to Dale Dale. Yeah, it'll, it'll have probably been in the North for all its life, won't it? Or was it one of those that went down to Great Western for a spell? Magic Toad. Oh, for goodness sake. You love making scenarios. You love making scenarios. So, yeah, we could do it on a live stream, couldn't we, driving the other way? And we can wave to ourselves. Oh, funky. BMW M5, hello. Welcome to our stream. Just joining us leaving Rill on uh, a 1999 scenario from Birmingham New Street to Hollyhead. We're going forward now to call it Colwyn Bay, Landudno Junction, Bangor and Hollyhead. Simon Chaplin, yeah, I think I'm in Magic Toad's bad books. No, he loves, he loves me. Could just leave it at that, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah, he, he loves me, purely and simply because uh, he, he loves making scenarios, and I give him lots of inspiration for scenarios. So, you know, it's a love-hate relationship. He hates the work, but at the same time, he just won't be without it. My lord, we've been going nearly an hour. Halfway there, people. Halfway there. Almost. Where are we going next? Colwyn Bay. He's a bit cold wind, bay. Give over. Stop being silly. Stop being rude. Uh, <laughs> 142063 did go to First Great Western. Uh, it'll do that one. Fantastic. Please make a Joe Dobson livery class 37. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing with regards to repaints for this. Mr. Buslad. Hey, it's been an hour and one minute. Absolutely. Well, you've got to factor in the three minutes of dithering about with the music. BMW M5 lives pretty near to Birmingham New Street, probably about 30 minutes, one hour train ride, or three hours on the bus. Oh, is it that long? Oh, that's painful. Christopher Madden, you should have done this journey from Birmingham New Street to Crewe. Do you know what, Christopher? Blame Magic Toad. I always do. <laughs> Jack Sargent, good evening, welcome to our live stream. North Wales Coast today, Jack, with First Northwestern, the Blue 158. Whoa, my lords. Uh, Simon Chaplin, did Virgin run down North Wales Coast in 1999? You will have to see, my friend. I have a feeling uh, that we might see Virgin trains on the North Wales Coast today. Connie Young, what did you say was your house and door numbers? Ooh, I can't tell you that. Has B, hi Joe, sorry I'm late, just finished a flight on Vatsim. EGCC logged. Oh, don't you worry about it, my friend. Don't you worry. Better late than never. Don't you worry. Uh, Buxton Line coming soon to Trenton Classic on the Midland Main Line. Trenton Classic. Oh, yeah, that Buxton Line will be good. Another one for the 142 there, Mr. Toad. It's a good-looking unit. It is. It is. Your next map is Joe Dobson Land Map on Transport Fever 2. I wonder what Joe Dobson land would look like. It'd be a wonderful place, wouldn't it? MKBE, I was at Abergelly and Penson, as per the Transport for Wales announcements, uh, the other week, which is the next station you pass. I think, is this it now that we're coming up to? I think it is. Mm. 
whizzing along. Right, I'm going to move my move my chair down. There we go. That's better. A little bit high. Getting back ache, neck ache. I need to go see a chiropractor. Don't they do feet? They ignore me. Not a chiropractor. Physio. That's the one. Sitting at my desk too long. Dear me. Mr. Buslad has to go now. Don't you apologise? I realise we all have uh, we all have very busy lives outside of uh, this channel. Uh, myself included. So no, never apologise for having to go. It's just been great to have you here. I hope you've enjoyed it. British Rail UK. I have a friend in college called Jack Dobson. How do you know it's not me? Going under one of my uh, one of my other names. I have very very many aliases. When I need to go uh, unnoticed. Another one, Felicity Abattoir. If you ever hear from her, that, that is me, undercover. Not heard from our Felicity in a while, actually. I hope she's alright. I'll have to check in. You haven't noticed what I've put in the briefing, RETFW announcements. Uh, I haven't, actually. There have been no issues on its way. Uh, Birmingham Tolly had no issues from the previous crew. You will call at the following principal stations. Oh, oh, I love it. Fantastic. I hadn't noticed that, but uh, no, that is awesome. The following principal stations. Oh! CP Trains, I cannot be held responsible for you getting 175 hours on Transport Fever 2 in the first two months of getting the game. It's addictive, what can I say? Nothing Show says, gotta go now, Joe, amazing live stream, keep it up, catch up tomorrow on it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, thanks for joining us, the Nothing Show. British Rail UK, Jack has glasses and you don't. Oh, you never know. I might have a pair of those glasses that come with the fake nose and moustache attached, you, you just never know. A master of disguise. Uh, has B, are you going to be doing any flight sims soon? I really enjoyed watching your VATSIM flying. Well, do you know what? Alex has actually been pestering me to do more flying. Uh, Alex, of course, being the chap who flew with us last time. Uh, really, really nice guy. Uh, he enjoyed our flying, and he's a flight sim all the time. He loves it. Absolutely loves it. Um, so, yeah, we do need, to, do need to try and do that again. We do need to do that again. There's so much we need to do and just not enough time to do it. Do you like art? Oh, this is a work of art. Nothing short of. There you go. So, so that answers your question. You're determined to prove it's not me now, aren't you? But I bet when you next see him, that'll cross your mind. I wonder if it is. <laughs> We're bordering on the insane now, aren't we? Stacy Woods, hi. Welcome to our stream. It's your first stream as well. Well, what a good one to join us on, Stacey. Driving a class 158 in the gorgeous First Northwestern livery. I've said that a few times, haven't I? That tunnel portal is awful. Magic Toad 2023. I think, is that the one where, uh, is that the one that you said was awful yesterday when we were driving it together? I think it is, isn't it? Let's just move the mouse out of the way. Problem with train sim. It's never really done sweeping landscapes particularly well, has it? Particularly like the, uh, the the Scottish routes. I mean, like the sea has land out to sea. That that is a problem because I think there's nothing out there, and of course all these mountains just have nothing on. There's there's no like texture, is there on there? Coming down into Colwyn Bay now, dropping down. What's SnowRunner? What's that? Is that a... Uh, I've never heard of that. Oh, he's Inside a Gamer doing SnowRunner. Oh, I like Inside a Gamer. I've not heard from him in ages. Lovely chap. Lovely, lovely chap is Inside a Gamer. Seth Dabby... Oh, wow! Oh, we need to have a look at what's going on out here. Let's just pause that for a second. A cotton-picking second. Class 156 in the in the Regional Railways Northwestern livery. Lovely. 156-454... With the Mersey Rail Regional Railways 150 on the back. Look at that. Oh, that is just beautiful. Such a colourful uh, era as well, isn't it? With the blue, that, the, the blue, the yellow. I always like that livery. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. 
Oh, SnowRunner's a truck game, right. Oh, I might have to check that out. Joe Repaint, Joe Dobson, Land Class 158 for the next map on trans uh, Transport Fever 2. Oh, the you've seen me repainting stuff for uh, the... Um, what were we? Oh, yeah, City Bus Manager. I'm useless at repainting. Like, I can make a good repaint look good, but I just have no time. I give up on them so easily. Trainspot 2009, your channel and PTG Rail channel uh, is similar. Oh, I take that as a massive compliment. They, that's the chap that does the, uh, the route learning videos, doesn't it? He drives them all with no hood. How does he do it? That's genius. Absolutely genius. Yeah, I've got a lot of time for that. I mean, I've driven up on so many train sim routes now and not learnt it at all that, I mean, it's quite embarrassing how many times I've been up and down on train sim and still don't know the route to drive without a hood. There we go, right. Into Colwyn Bay. Mersey Rail 150, I know it's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, hang on, what's happening now? I was trying to take my jumper off there while it was, uh, I saw the doors start closing. Hang on. Jumper off, getting rather warm. There we go. Obviously, the, uh, the PC heats up. The, uh, the room there, doesn't it? And I don't want to open the window because I'll get absolutely soaked. Uh, Luke says, uh, did you film another video for 66780? I didn't. We, uh, we've got loads of footage, but I'm just waiting on, uh, on making, you know, getting all the, uh, the, the footage together and edited. Unfortunately, it's not me that does the editing, so I'm, uh, I'm waiting on my behalf to do that. Mike says, PTG is great, really nice bloke, met him a few times. He, he strikes me as, you just get that vibe when you watch his videos, uh, that he's a nice bloke. I, uh, I've never met the chap, but the amount of knowledge there to do that, unless he's managed to find a mod that puts the hood on, like, his second monitor, that'd be great, wouldn't it? So he's driving there and everyone thinks he's a genius, whereas actually he's cheating. I don't know. I don't think such a mod exists, so uh, we'll, we'll stick with the fact he's a genius and uh, great at Train Simulator. Hamster Cheeks, evening to you, good sir. Is that Hamster Cheeks as in the class 442? It is, I can see from your profile picture. Awesome. Hamster Drucker, uh, I believe, is, uh, is the German for that. Fantastic. Um, thoughts on the new 395 interior? Not aware there was a new one. Have they referred them? Got a long shirt and a t-shirt on. Oh, right, you, you must be boiling, then. See, we live in a new build, and it's in winter it's fantastic because obviously it doesn't get cold. You very rarely need the heating on. But in summer, oh my lord, it is so hot in our house. He studies his notes for breaking points and speed changes. I could do with something like that. Do you reckon he'd give me his notes? <laughs> I'm thinking, how can I do this incredibly difficult task as easy as possible and cheat by cheating? You know, I just want to get to the result. I don't want to put the work in. Uh, which class of train is my favourite? Oh, I bounce back to the 185 every single time. Fantastic trains. Ian, uh, great contact, keep up the work. Thanks so much. Very, very kind of you. What are we doing? We've got a, uh, an AWS yet a green signal. Hmm. Aaron says, currently got a thermal top on under a shirt because it's a bit cold. Are you, uh, don't tell me you're outside, are you? Mike says, I could always route conduct you on the MML. That, that would be great. Do you know what? We should do that stream sometime, but that's not good because if you're, if you get it wrong and your employers are watching, they might not take too, too well to that. <laughs> could you imagine if you messed it up and we went shooting through a signal or a station? <laughs> Sean Maxwell, wines or Scottish whiskey tonight? Uh, unfortunately, Sean, working at 20 to 2 in the morning, so uh, certainly no uh, no alcohol for me. I'm on Robinson's Peach and Raspberry Juice. Mmm. Posh juice, only because it was on offer, mind. 
train spotter. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Do you know what? It's probably not. It just takes the work, doesn't it? It takes the effort. We're dropping down into a handed no junction now. I love how you can just in the background ever so slightly, and you might not, depending on the le the volume levels of the stream. But you can just hear that that one five eight body flex, the creak as you're going along. It's also ooh, we're coming off to the right here, lovely. Uh, birthday 57, I do work on the railway, yes. What other reason would I have to be up at the crack of dawn? Mental, mental time. Uh, but this is my last one, actually, so when I get back tomorrow, uh, I should be having a little nap, and then uh, and doing some more YouTube of some sort. We've got an hour-long episode uh, for Joe Plus members of the, uh, of the Scarborough City Bus Manager series to record, uh, so I need to do that. Uh, right, hang on, we've completely missed the marker again. Never mind. <laughs> Joshua Noel, don't you worry about it. It's, uh, it's great to have you here. Welcome to our live stream. Oh, stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, but yeah, so I'll have a little nap after that, and then I've got Sunday off, so maybe we'll do more live streaming. Who knows? Oh, more live streaming? Can we do more? Can we do more? Francis uh, says, oh, hang on, it's gone. Oh, no, it's back. Uh, Landerno Junction is my local station, only two minutes walk away. And you didn't come down to wave to us, Francis? Or is that you down there? Is is that you? Oh, no, maybe not. I don't know. Do you look like that? Do you have a, a green hoodie on? Well, it's not raining, is it? So this must have been uh, this must have been a few. Well, it was in 1999, so you might not have even been on the planet then. You never know, do you? Uh, birthday, what do you do on the railway? I am a conductor. Uh, conductor, the ticket man, uh, buzzer monkey, tail lamp. I go by a lot of names. Clippy. Just Clippy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been called a lot of things over the years. When I hear Joshua, I think you're talking to me, but... Uh, oh, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. We're all on the we're all on the same page now. No, no, I would... If your name is Jasmine in the chat, I'll always address you as Jasmine, my love. Don't you panic. It's just Magic Toad that goes by many names. Uh, some of them rude. Magic Toad says, Myself, Dave, Allison, and GB. Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, GB. Who's GB? Uh, once got stuck at, uh, at Landedno Junction. What a great place to get stuck. Door Monkey, rear gunner. I like that. A rear gunner. No, no, I'm not a train driver. I'm just very professional at doing so. You'd think I was a train driver from my... Uh, from my amazing driving on this sim, but no, no, sadly not. Sadly not. Uh, yeah, Train Sim World Blackpool line does look good. Though it has to be said, I don't think I'm going to enjoy that 142. Simply because the, uh, the, the I'd, I'd like to be proved wrong, don't get me wrong, but the Armstrong Powerhouse 142 is going to be incredible. We know that. Oh, Granny Butterworth, I'm with you, GB. Ah, Granny B. Um... Yeah, the, the, the 142 Armstrong Powerhouse for Trentham Classic is going to be incredible. We know that. So is it for Trentham World? Ooh, I'd like to be proved wrong, like I say. Fingers crossed. And I, I don't know... I, I, I had Gemma Barlow in my head. I, I don't know who Gemma Barlow is, but I, 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 do you have a sister called Gemma by any chance that was fathered by another man whose last name happened to be Barlow? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, Jasmine. I agree with you there. Uh, Trenton World, the, the routes just aren't as good, are they? Have you had a Chinese, Sean? Flipping heck. I want a Chinese now. Why are all the signs flickering at London no Junction? <laughs> God, we've had a little bit of a wait here, haven't we? Uh, where are we next heading to? Well, this is actually quite express, this uh, this particular service. We're going on to Bangor. And uh, after landed no junction, Banger and Hollyhead, forty miles. Good lord, I didn't realise it was that far. The fact that one four two has been made by just trains, exactly, TJ. I agree with you there. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, birthday fifty seven is being a conductor fun, or does it get boring? I'm applying for it uh, in Southeastern soon. 
do you know what? No two days are the same. There's always, you would be having a quiet day and you'll say the Q word. Someone will say, oh, it's quiet this morning. There'll be some sort of catastrophe, all hell will break loose. You'll be run off your feet, charging round. There's never a dull moment. I absolutely love the job. Absolutely love the job. Let's be honest, Joe chose the express service because he didn't want to stop loads. Well, actually, uh, it's... Uh... Oh, hang on, where are we? There we go. Yep. Ah, there's your answer, Simon Chaplin. Your, uh, your Virgin Trains liveried uh, train there. I mean, the other way, an Intercity HST on the front. Intercity HST on the back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coaches. Sounds a bit voluntary to me, doesn't it, you? Oh, and that, that, that sort of wine. Oh. Right, get that shut, because we need to go. I'd like to stay and look at that, but we've got a service to run, people. Uh, Jasmine, I so badly want to buy train tickets all over the UK. Uh, well, do you know what? It, it's an all-line rover, love. <laughs> You'll be able to go wherever you want. Magic Toad, with how Trains and Classic and Trains and World tend to port stuff across now and work with AP, I'd assume it would be the same one. Well, we can hope, can't we? We can hope. Oh, we're going to Conway Castle. Look at that. Very, very pretty section of track, isn't it? They've done what they did on the uh, on the Huddersfield line where you go round a corner, straight, round a corner. Is it going to go straight again? Round a corner? It's, uh, yeah, round Mosley. Didn't look great, did it? But uh, we'll let it slide because it's a decent route, is this? Dylan Ishmael, hi. Welcome to our stream, Dylan. Crazy says, you could make like a train tram between Broomfleet and Ghoul in your Transport Fever 2 series on separate track. Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, you could always use the same end stations, lots of options on what could be a very frequent service. Well, we've got the Metro Link, haven't we? That might work. That might work. That is genius, because I don't think those 323s are going to work, are they? Oh, here we go, Conway. Coming through there, lovely. Have we, uh, oh, you see where the shadow is? It's not going to be a good shot, is it? And I had the, the hood in. Never mind. Oh, that's gone. It's back again. Uh, is that Scott Rail, Sean? No, it's not. It's First Northwestern, uh, a company which uh, disappeared in 2004 when it became Northern Rail. Uh, and Transpennine Express. So how it historically was in the north of England, obviously now you've got Northern running all the uh, all the stopping services and Transpennine Express running the regional services. Whereas how it used to be was it was split east and west. So in the east you had a Riva Trains Northern that ran the Transpennine services as well, but all the stopping trains. So if you were a conductor or a driver, for instance, you might be based at Leeds and you might do a uh, Skipton and back on the Northern, what is now Northern, and then you might do a Liverpool and back on the Transpennine, because it was all a Riva Trains Northern. In the West, uh, the Express and the stopping trains were all done by First North Western, but then they moved it all around. So this is First North Western, uh, which was, this livery was applied to 158s, 150s, uh, 142s, but obviously the 156s and the, uh, the 175s had the Barbie livery. So uh, yeah, there, there was a few different liveries at the time. 153s, they had the star as well, didn't they, uh, in First Northwestern. What subclass is this 158? It's 158756, uh, which is a slash seven, slash seven. Oh, hang on, don't miss that. Flip neck, too busy looking at the British train. Have you ever been on the Glasgow subway? I haven't. I'd really like to do that. I'd really, really like to do that, because it's so small, isn't it? It's ridiculous. Ah, so if Jasmine says, Northern got eradicated from my town due to constantly running late routes, they had to be given to EMR, so that'll be the Barton and Humber branch, I imagine, Jasmine. Rochdale to Euston, yes. Brilliant. And of course, Simon, yeah, Northern Spirit before Arriva trains uh, Northern. Uh, MTL, the Liverpool bus company which ran Northern Spirit, was of course bought out by Arriva, hence why there's a lot of Arriva buses in Liverpool, and uh, it became Arriva trains Northern.
yeah, again, Northern Spirit in Ran. Stunningly bright. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, what's happened outside this tunnel on the right here? Has there been a landslide? Oh, no, it's, a, it's brick. I'm with you. Right, full steam ahead. We're not quite an angle see yet, are we? Quite a bit to go yet. What is my favourite train? Absolutely has to be a 185. I've probably mentioned that, to be honest with you. Uh, the new West Midlands Railway Class 196 trains, I've not seen them yet. Not seen them, but if they're anything like the 197s, they'll probably be alright. Weirdly enough, I never thought I'd say this, but the 197s, they're not bad for a CAF product. It's like they took all the bits of the 195s that weren't good and made them better. You know, it's, it's like the 197 is a learning curve from what they got wrong with the 195. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't mind them. I think they're comfortable to travel on. Uh, there was 322s in this livery as well. You are absolutely correct, Simon. Yes, I've forgotten about those. And uh, zedgy 68s just subscribed. Welcome to the Madhouse, Zedgy. I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. Nathan Lowe, when are you next live streaming? Do you know what? I haven't given it a thought, Nathan. We'll have to have a look, won't we, and see what we've got available to us. Um, 322484, apparently, according to Dylan, was the uh, the only one. Was it the only one? Just one? Ah. Fair dupes. Fair dupes. Back up to 75. You, you're up and down like a flipping tarts. Nick is at you on, uh, the, with the speed on this. Where's this then? Is this Valley? I don't know. Is it? Should we have a look as we go through? Have we got a sign? Uh, no, it's Penman Mao. Of course it is. Yeah, I, I knew that. Valley's later. Valley's later. Oh, no, Nathan, we won't send 66780 for scrap. Absolutely not. Class 66780 will go for scrap before mine does. Are you not a fan, TJ? Do you know what? I've travelled on them a couple of times. The 397s, they're alright. I don't mind them. Oh, hang on, we're speeding. Oh, first time this episode. Class 37 going the other way with a rake of Mark something or others. Mark 2A's by the look of things. It's a frequent service, isn't it, down here? Back through another, uh, another rock face. Oh, gap in the tunnel. Flipping it, dovetail. Come on, you're better than that. Uh, how much did the whole of the route and scenario cost together? Well, the um, I wouldn't even like to say. So the route was twenty four ninety nine when I bought it, as is the standard price for most trains and routes. Um, the scenario is free. Magic Tobe made me this scenario. He'll probably upload it to his website, I'd imagine. I keep telling him that he should charge a pound for his scenarios, because he puts a lot of effort into them. And, you know, for two hours entertainment, I don't think a pound's bad at all. In fact, if you are uploading this one, uh, Mr. Magic Toad, Bob it on for a pound, because, I mean, it works, doesn't it? We've tested it works. We've had no temp dumps. Oh, Christ, now I've said that. Uh, but, yeah, this is one we... I'm sure you'll all agree. Uh, he should make a little bit back for all this hard work. You know, he spends hours on this. This took about four or five hours to make by the time he finished messing about and tweaking things. and You know, so I, I absolutely think a pound is, is more than reasonable. Sean says, can't wait for next week. Payday by the end of the month. Oh, love it. Is this Valley? No. <laughs> Stop saying Valley in a terrible Welsh accent. It's oh, it's Land for Fechin. Right, I'm with you. The YouTube uh, algorithm will probably ban my monetization now because I've sworn. But it's not. It's an actual place in Wales, Land for Fechin. Oh yeah, there you go. Magic Toad scenarios found in the uh, in the in the chat there. Magic Toad. Uh, or Mike has very kindly posted it. Cheers for that, Mike. Dovetail under de under delivering. Who would have seen that coming? I know, I know. Uh, do you like C2C's new class 720s? I've not seen them. And do you know what, Dylan? I really think that livery on the one on the uh, on the 221 suits it. But I wish they'd done all four coaches. I wish they'd have done all four coaches. Oh, Valley's the last one before Hollyhead. I am with you. I'm with you. 
do we actually have a time to get to Hollyhead? We don't, do we? So when we get to Bangor, uh, I will need to just nip off uh, for two minutes. I just need a wee. I've drunk that much water or juice because I've been uh, I've been talking to you a lot. And now, unfortunately, Mother Nature has decided the juice shall reappear. Um, Jasmine, I love Joe trying to say names. Oh, no, tell me about it. Uh, Velagu, do you ever get recognised from your voice at work? That has happened once or twice now, and it always really catches me off guard when people say it. They're like, oh, my God, you're Joe. I'm like, uh, yeah, I am. Who are you? As if, like, you know, <laughs> like nobody should know who I am. It's very, very weird. Very weird indeed. I, I don't think I'll ever, I'll, I'll never uh, get used to that. Or maybe I will, I don't know. But yeah, it always catches me off guard. Somebody, um, I was chatting to him uh, on the train. We were pulling into a station and I was stood by my door and uh, and he was talking to me. Uh, I was talking to him and his missus actually, because uh, I can't remember what we were talking about, some rubbish. I was probably bleating about what, uh, what time I was finishing. It was a late night. And uh, he actually sent me a message on uh, on Discord later on saying, um, were you the guard on the train? It was like, yeah, yeah, that was me. He was like, oh, you were talking to me and uh, me and my girlfriend. I was like, oh, right. I says, why didn't you say anything? He says, oh, I was really scared. I was like, oh, give over. <laughs> there's nothing to be scared, actually. There's, there's quite a lot of um, psychological damage there that's probably to be scared of. But I'm a nice person. <laughs> Uh, is that an open intended for guard? Uh, with you being a guard? Uh, absolutely, I love it. I hadn't actually, but we'll, we'll say it was intended. Oh, Foxy IR's off. Well, cheers for joining us, Foxy. Give it a year and it'll be don't you know who I am. I know I'll be I'll be going into places like pret a manger and banging on the table. Don't you know who I am? There's not enough caramel in this caramel latte. I sort of throwing bacon rolls across the kitchen in a fit of rage. No, no. I'd never want to be that person. I, I really don't like people that, that talk to people who work in shop environments or restaurants that, that talk to them like the dirt sometimes, don't they? And people speak to me sometimes like, like that and you think there's just no need for it. Uh, heck, we met on a Ram 3 car 185. We did, didn't we, in Ram many, many moons ago now. Uh, you will be a Karen. Oh, I'll be no such thing. After the 67 plus 390 incident, I will always be scared of you. What happened on the 67 and 390? What happened on the 67 and the 390? Oh, yes, the 67 and the 390 on, uh, on, on, um, it was transport fever, wasn't it? When, uh, everyone was moaning they wanted electric trains, so I, uh, shoved a 67 on the front and a 390 on the back and said, there you go, there's your electric train. I'm just not putting, uh, any wires on. XC guard Tim. Oh, hello. I didn't realise you were with us, love. How are you? He says, I can empathise there. I'm scared of you, Joe. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are. There's no reason to be. <laughs> uh, BMW M5. How much does a Joe Plus membership cost? It costs £4.99 a month. You'll get your videos uh, the day before. I aim for a day before. I do say early, so that if it's ten minutes before, uh, I, I can... It's a get out clause, but it is usually, and a lot of Joe Plus members will agree with uh, what I'm saying, it is usually the day before. Uh, so you get to watch them the day before. You, obviously, you can see that the people in green uh, do flag up before everyone else, so their comments stand out on live streams. I look at their comments before I look at, uh, you know, as, as a priority thing. And we do also have, if you're a City Bus Manager uh, fan, we do also have a series going in the background there of, uh, of City Bus Manager. I told you I lurk, absolutely. It's a good job I wasn't saying anything rude about you, isn't it? Imran, uh, face to window, but my god, it was all worth it. Oh, it's always worth it for a 185. Right, let's start breaking, because I can see the yellow, and there's a red further down, so we'll, uh, we'll bob it in a bit of step two. I wonder why that's the case. Oh, we've got a yellow. Right, okay, we'll uh, we'll drop it down at step one. Uh, don't you worry about it, Jasmine. I will. Uh, I always go through before I start recording the episodes and look at what Joe Plus members we've got and uh, make tweaks to the staffing situation, so I will absolutely have a look at that. Matty Williams, hello, hello. Welcome, Matty. How are you, love? 
Uh, what will be your next train sim vid? Oh, I don't know, Dylan. I haven't finished this one yet. Flipping heck. Connor Young's with us as well. Oh, fantastic. Tim, you would... I, I don't know if you would like this scenario, actually, because obviously it's only 158, but... I mean, you'll probably... I don't know how long you've been watching for, but obviously it is harping back to the good old days when privatisation was fairly new. You know, when, when things... Well, it was all... Everything's the good old days, isn't it? Uh, but gorgeous livery. Plenty of 37s to see. Uh, HST passed that earlier. Uh, Red Arrow, do you remember when you got stuck behind a 68 because it broke time? Oh, don't tell me you were on board. <laughs> Listening. <laughs> Listening to what I was saying. Flipping heck. Uh, Jasmine, do you think I should get the Digibus Mirage or the Gen 3 pack? Gen 3. Every day of the week. Brilliant pack. Really, really good pack. You get a lot more for your money. The Mirage is alright. Now it's been updated a few times, but just in terms of value for money, you just get so much more. Right. Hang on a second. So we are going to open the doors, bob it in a bit of uh, butter neutral, and I shall be back in just a moment. Rightio, there we go, we're back now. Do you know what's actually really funny there? Magic Toad, I hate you. Uh, back from... Do you know what? I, I put that, that screen on. It, it, I, on the left, the... Uh, oh, hang on, where are we going? The, obviously, there's the scene, there's the ending scene, the technical blip uh, things that I can put on, and the back zoom. It's called back zoom one, back zoom two, and back zoom three. And uh, many, many moons ago now, Magic Toad actually smashed his windscreen on his Fiesta, hence what, because... Half of his roof slid off in a storm and ended up in his driver's seat, and um, hence the uh, hence the back shortly. I've smashed my windscreen when I put it on. I was humming and ahhing, thinking, uh, "Oh, where where did that come from? Where's the smashed windscreen?" And then I realised when Magic Tom put, "I hate you." I must have put it on like over a year ago now and completely forgot about that. <laughs> um, XC Guard Tim, been here all the stream. It looks great and I like it. It may shock you. Uh, I tell you what I really think when Magic Toad isn't in earshot. I know you're just not a multiple unit fan, are you? So, you know, although it's a an old uh, 158, you know, I'd, I'd, I can understand why you wouldn't like it. But it's a really good scenario. Uh, really, really good scenario. Um, oh, I'm with you, Red Arrow. I was on the platform. You said, God damn, I'm 68s. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, can you drive a 315? Ooh, that involves going to scary London where there's no conductors, doesn't it? Ooh, scary London. Uh, going to Peterborough once, I felt bad for people on the East Midlands 156. Got stuck behind a GBRF container train for 90 minutes. Oh, no. It's not what you need, is it? Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm I'm sure you'll be as excited as I am for the Pacer Pack, Tim, the uh, the 142. I know you were, uh, you were always a fan of the Pacers. Little 144s pootling up and down around West Yorkshire. Oh, Fantastic. Quality trains. <laughs> Magic Toad. Oh, you can get to uh, no, nothing, uh, nothing but nice about you. True colours showing now. <laughs> Jasmine, should I be scared to approach you if I do see you in public? I would say no, but everyone else seems to say yes. So I do what the crowds say, I suggest. 
Right, off we go. Last lap, people. Hollyhead, 25 miles. And I've remembered to take the brake off this time. Excellent. Oof. Yeah, Cummins, uh, Cummins over Perkins. Every day of the week. Every day of the week. What do you think? Perkins or Cummins? What are we, what are we fans of? I prefer the Cummins. Uh, but the Perkins engined 158s that Transport for Wales have. East Midlands have a couple of them uh, lurking about somewhere. They always catch you off guard, don't they, the, uh, the East Midlands Perkins 158s? Mike says, wouldn't want to pass him in a dark alley, that's for sure. <laughs> right, off we go, people. Off to Anglesey. Hold on to your hats. This is going to be some rapid acceleration. Oh, Nathan Lowe's just got home. Oh, the best time of the day, isn't it? Arriving home. Love it. Will you be driving the Class 309 when it's released? I didn't know the 309 was coming out. XC Guard Tim, I will buy it for sure. Absolutely. Well, you'll need it for the scenery, won't you? I know you probably won't spend a lot of time actually driving it, but obviously uh, the scenarios that you like, you know, from like regional railways and back then, the, the 142 was very popular. So yeah, I can understand why you, uh, why you would, why you would get that. As a scenery train, if nothing else. Imran Arif is a fan of the uh, the Cummins engines. Mate, she couldn't catch a big in an alleyway. Oh, you're not nice. They're all so rude to me, aren't they? BMW M5, been a YouTube subscriber on your channel for one year and two months now. I hope you've enjoyed... Well, you must have enjoyed yourself. You're still here, aren't you? You've not run for the hills. LJ, I'm waiting for the day I see you on a train. I'm always at Huddersfield Station. Well, I, I have been to Huddersfield on, uh, in my line of work. So, I, yeah, I might bump into you at some point. Oh, no, because you'll be hiding under a bench, won't you? You'll be that terrified. Everyone's terrified. <laughs> Uh, is this Armstrong Powerhouse Pack boss? It is, it is boss. It's not something I've ever... It's not a, a phrase I've ever used in my life, but I will use it now. Yeah, this 158 pack is boss. Absolutely. Uh, Stacey Woods is off to uh, off to play City Bus Manager. I can understand why you'd want to do that, Stacey. Thanks for joining us. Pearson needs to come faster. It'll make a fantastic scenario. Oh, it will. I'm so excited. October 2023 is uh, is a good month, isn't it, for us? City Skylines 2, Class 142. Oh, I'm with you. Do you know what? I, I, it just goes to show. Little guilty pleasures there, doesn't it, Tim? Spent many hours driving the old 142 on trains and classics. It'll be great to try the new one. Oh, hang on. My track's gone. Bit of single track. Lovely. Kieran's Travels. I have to disagree. You were lovely to talk to at Birkenhead. Oh, thank you very much, Kieran. Thank you. You uh, you came for a ride, didn't you, on the uh, on the on the bus when we went down to uh, oh come on, what's the flipping name of it now? Remind me. We went down for a trip, didn't we? Where did we go? I can't remember what the flipping name of it was. Heck, are we going to fit under here? There's no height restriction on the bridge. So this is the Britannia Bridge, I think. Is it? Yeah. We're going over to Anglesey. Waiting for November the tenth, TJ. What's happening on November the tenth? Uh, the link I sent for the 309 when it comes out. Oh, I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, when's the next OMSI video? I don't know. I've, I've I've not gone off OMSI, Lewis. But the thing is, is, there's not a lot of new things, is there? And there's only so many times you can drive an Eclipse around West Country 3. You know, it's just one of those, isn't it? Uh, over a year ago, BMW M5 for the first bus uh, preserved bus adventure. On 66780. Trainspotter 2009. Did you practice your speech... Before streaming, because I would be so nervous. Do you know what? The first time I did a stream, I was absolutely quaking in my boots. Uh, in fact, I think Mike was here when I did my first stream. It was We flew a 787 on P3D from Faro to Manchester. It was a dreadful landing. Oh, it was chronic. Um, <laughs> but you just sort of... 
You just talk to people. It's just like having a chat, isn't it? You know, more than anything. And if you cock it up, you cock it up, don't you? You know, there's, a, there's times where I've nearly said, you know, I've read someone's comment out and nearly said something uh, unprofessional. You know, it, it just happens. As long as you don't come out with something like wildly racist or something that's going to get you cancelled, you, you know, you, you'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine, I'm sure. Mike had to keep dabbing his forehead with paper towels. Oh, I know. I know. Mac Forrest was nearly completely gone, wasn't it? The amount of paper we had to use. Where's this then? This is a uh, this is a funky little place. Oh, this is this place. Ooh. I don't think you're allowed to call people that, are you? Flipping heck. Lan via pool gwin gil go ga u quin drobu landus lilo go go goch. It's just unnecessary, isn't it? How ridiculous. Right, back to the train. Lanfair PG, that's better. MKBE, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll stick with that. Cayman's Travels, 100%. Uh, I happen to be a local. You did the Wirral Transport Show in 66780. I did, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, it was fantastic. Uh, Jasmine, you're making me want to waste more money now. Uh, the amount of times this has happened in the year of watching you, I see your stuff and want to buy it. Well, do you know what? The thing on my YouTube is you can always guarantee that I am 100% honest with things. You know, like, if I don't like something, people accuse me of moaning, but if I don't like something, I'll tell you, because I don't want to say, this is the best thing ever, and, and you know, you... To, you go out and spend your money on it and turn around and say, well, well, this is rubbish. Why did you say it was brilliant? You know, so, but, but yeah, I, I, when I say something's good, it means I genuinely really do enjoy it. Um, right, hang on, there we go. So, yeah, I can understand there's quite a lot this past year that I've got very excited about, isn't there? And hopefully we'll continue too. I'm a very excitable person. Uh, will you ever do a 321 in Silverlink livery? Uh, or anything Silverlink on the West Coast Main Line? You see, you need to. You don't need to be asking me what I'm going to stream. You need to be asking Magic Toad what scenarios he's going to make. Yeah. How do you get this route? This is the North Wales uh, coastal route. It's available on the Steam store. Still at it, Simon. You missed your Virgin Trains. When we left Landudno Junction, there was Virgin Trains coming the other way. I even, I, I mentioned it for you and you weren't here. Oh, I'm, I'm heartbroken, Simon. Absolutely heartbroken. Wales has some really long city names. It does. And everywhere spelt Ecclefecken and pronounced Kakubra. Oh, apparently the bridge caught fire. Flippy neck, it's a good job it didn't do it when we were on it. Good lord. Only had 18 miles. You, you don't realise it's that far, do you? Uh, you were saying the veiling is good. Uh, what made me want to buy that? Same with the Transport Fever 2 and City Bus Manager. I'm not wrong. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, I thought it actually started at Birmingham New Street. No, it didn't. No, no, we've, we've just driven this from Crewe. The actual service starts at Birmingham New Street. But we've only driven it from Crewe. We could have driven it all the way from Birmingham up through Wolverhampton, but uh, it's just one of those, isn't it? We'll have to do it another time. Cayman's Travel says the uh, the 777 could be a lot worse. A lot of people dislike them, but I think they're the upgrade the region needs. Could do with adding a bit more seat padding. Well, that's a lot of uh, a lot of complaints when you stop the uh, the the seat padding is quite uh, yeah yeah quite quite lacking quite lacking. Cody Allen says, have you ever visited GVVT? I'm assuming that's Glasgow Vintage Vehicle Trust in Glasgow. Well, where else would the Glasgow Vintage Vehicle Trust be other than in Glasgow? Uh, no, I haven't. I'd absolutely love to. It's just one of these things, I'm afraid, the, you know, the amount of things that you'd like to do. And uh, sadly, don't get round to it. Yeah, I'd really, really like to. I believe that's where Mr. Ewan Gray lives up there. Hasn't he got buses in there? He's, he's got uh, a B10, I believe. Oh, stunning example from what I can see. What is the next train released by Armstrong Powerhouse? Uh, it will be the 142, coming at the end of this month, Dylan. So uh, that's that's good. Uh, well, I say it's good. I'm very excited for it. Right, back up to 75. Back up to 75. What about a run in a Renew? Do you mean a Renown, Josh? 
Joshua? Sorry, I'm calling you Josh. I don't know if I'm allowed to call you Josh. Joshua, uh, what about a run in a renown? I'm assuming you mean there. Uh, we, we could do. Could do, I suppose. Oh, no, Stacy. City bus manager's not working, so I'm back. Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry about that. I mean, it's nice to have you here, but, uh, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Cadence Travels, I'm 100% sure uh, my profile picture tells you what my preference is. We'll miss them. It's a 508 or a 507. It's a, it's a one of them. Jasmine, is it true whatever you dream you can achieve? Uh, my dream is to be on the West End. I wouldn't say it was true whatever you dream, because, I mean, I've often dreamed that I'm in the Cadbury's factory left alone for many hours, and I don't think that's going to happen without breaking and entering. Oh, I should become an urban explorer, and then it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, you're not a trespasser when you're an urban explorer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But, yeah, absolutely, you should, you should always have dreams. You know, it was my dream to work on the railway. Now I'm flipping here, I think, oh, did, did you not think of dreaming something better? <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I, love, I honestly love my job. Anyone that's thinking about a career on the railway, go for it. You'll love it. Unless you don't like trains, but then you, you wouldn't be thinking of a career on the railway, would you? Uh, Train Spot 2009, when you go on Alan Thompson Sim and you find a route, you have to buy a bunch of Armstrong Power Racing Amps and packs to make it work. Usually the case with the scenarios, because for a lot of the hardcore train simmers, the the Armstrong Powerhouse things are just a deal breaker. If you haven't got them, the, the, like the 158, I wouldn't be driving that if it wasn't for this. Oh wow, 153! Oh, look at that. Adorable. That's dreadful, in it? That sounded like a lawnmower and all. Um, how much will the 142 be? Why can't we get 143 and 144 with it? You'll have to tap that up with Armstrong Powerhouse, I'm afraid, Dylan. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be 20 odd quid, they usually are, aren't they? I mean, to be fair, if it was 50 quid, I'd probably still buy it, because I'm a lunatic. Uh, Alex Walker, are you in favour of the RMT strikes? Let's not get political, Alex. It's light-hearted and fun, this uh, this stream this evening. We, we won't bring politics into it, uh, simply because uh, everyone... Well, I say everyone, you, you're all still here, aren't you? But we're, uh, we're all still enjoying it. We're all enjoying ourselves. Imran, end of the month, I believe so. Yeah, end of the month, very exciting. Uh, Simon Chaplin has a dream of seeing me at Preston. <laughs> Do you not have more aspirations than that, Simon, than seeing me at Preston? Right, we uh, we must be going uphill. Oh, 1 in 98. Flipping heck, it's a steep hill. I'm going to say 100% power, and, uh, and we're losing speed. Cute little 153. Absolutely agree with you there, Mr. Buzzlad. Dogbox. Yeah! Uh, they did a 153 sound pack. Absolutely, they've ridded it off the store, which could mean uh, that there's something else coming. Uh, something else coming. Who knows? Who knows? David, currently on the North Wales Coastal Line in a 158. First North Western livery. Oh, alarm's going off. There we go. So you just never know, do you? Right, what's this? Is this Valley? No. Oh, hang on, it might be. No, it's Bodorgan. Mike, anyone want to be a driver? Absolutely go for it. Best job in the world. Yes, Mike, our resident train driver here, uh, does really, really enjoy his job. Yeah, you do love it, don't you, Mike? Uh, any clue what happened to the power brake controllers? I don't know, actually. I always meant to get one, and I never got round to it. Jasmine, are you going to constantly say valley until you're right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's that's how it works. David, how's the bus? Bus is good, thank you. Bus is good. Uh, slightly broken at the moment. Because as we seem to fix something, something else breaks. It seems to be bus preservation all over. But uh, it is good. It is good. Ten miles, just over ten miles to Hollyhead, people. Mike Ray, we are currently on. Oh, hi, Mike. Hello, you've not been here, have you? We're on the North Wales Coastal today. 
uh, with this stunning example of a 158. 158756. I've actually worked this train in the past. What? Uh, hang on. Oh, what's this? Hamster Cheeks donated 199 through Super Chat. Thank you very much for that, Hamster Cheeks. Very kind of you. Uh, in fact, if I have a look on my rail miles, because I've uh, I've kept record of every train I've ever worked, so we'll be able to see if I've actually worked this unit somewhere. Where have we been? Simon Chaplin would love to be a conductor for Avanti, absolutely. Especially if you're at Preston, they sign a lot of routes. They go uh, Edinburgh, Glasgow, they go down to London via the Trent Valley, uh, they go London via Birmingham uh, and Wolverhampton. They also go, uh, they just sign both the routes out of Manchester, quite a lot of diversionaries. So yeah, out of Preston, flipping lot of routes. Worth doing. Uh, right, hang on a second, what are we doing now? Uh, Josh K, good evening. Evening Josh, how are you? Right, hang on. Statistics, traction list. Where are we now? 158. 756. I have never worked this unit. Never worked this unit, 756. I've worked 158, 752, 753, 754, 755, 757, 758, and 759. This is the only one of the three cars I've never worked. And that is probably because uh, it was up for refurbishment, I think, uh, for most of my time uh, at Northern. So that'll probably be why. But there you go. Never worked this one. Isn't that spooky? The only one of the three cars I've never worked. And it's the one Magic Toad picked for me to drive on this. BMW M5 says he dreams about seeing uh, me with my bus in Crescent Bus Station in Hinkley. <laughs> right, okay. This is just getting bizarre. This is bizarre. <laughs> oh dear. Rhymeworth Valley, favourite journey by train. I love the Manchester to York route, the Trans Pennine route. I love it. I love the windiness, I love the scenery. It's not particularly impressive compared to, I don't know, going up to Fort William or Malaig or the Dawlish Seawall, but I just, I love how the route, they're frequent, aren't they? They're very frequent. They're, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a really nice variety of scenery to see. It's, it's just fantastic. Is this valley? No. Rosniergeria. I'm getting very excited because the closer we get to Hollyhead, the more chances there are that it will be valley. Can't say I've not worked it now. I know. Well, there we go. I don't think this counts as working it, though, does it? Driving it on train sim. Are we counting it as working it? Well, in, in spirit, we've done all of them. But this isn't a three car either, is it? So I'm missing that middle carriage. Was that valley? No, not. Oh, Magic Toads work 756. Is it a good unit, love? Have you ever been to Wales, Aberystwyth? I have been to Aberystwyth. We went down on the train once. Oh, XC Guard donated £10 through Super Chat. Thank you so much for that, Tim. Get yourself a Magic Toad to drink you for this scenario. No, oh, I've got to split it with him. <laughs> no, I absolutely will. I'll uh, I'll treat him for this. He's, uh, he's a good egg, isn't he? He's a good egg. All Things Buses says it's a good stream. Uh, only five minutes late to the party. Uh, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it, All Things Buses. It's been great to have you here. Magic Toad! You're too kind, however, I won't get a sniff of it with the wino over here. How rude! <laughs> uh, look for the RAF base on your left. Oh, is that it? Oh, it is! Excellent. Right, let's just nip outside there. Aha! Oh, yeah, that's quite sizable, isn't it, there? I'm with you. Don't drop the DSD now. Another 37 coming the other way. With an intercity carriage thrown in for good measure. TP158 or Northern 158. Ooh, I do like a TP158. Joshua Noel says, uh, No ifs, you should bring the Eclipse up to Silverburn bus station and take me out for the day. <laughs> It'd probably take all day to get there. Yeah, we, sh we should absolutely go and see Tim, uh, Mr. Toad. We should go and see Tim in Huddersfield, in the Grove. It's always got to be the Grove. 
don't know, actually, that 745's gone a little bit quiet, hasn't it? I wonder, uh, by Goo Studios. Very, very quiet, hasn't it? I wonder what's happening with that. I'm sure that there'll probably be something absolutely fantastic that'll come out and, like, they'll, they'll announce it and there'll be a video that'll come out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know of any plans, Little Station, I'm afraid. I, I don't know with the development of City Bus Manager. I just play it. Is this Valley? Is this Valley? Is it? Hang on. Oh no, I've pressed the wrong freaking thing. It's Valley! It's Valley! Oh hey! We are here! Wrong frigging button there, taking me to the map instead of appreciating Valley. I don't know. LJ, the Grove, is that the pub by the leisure centre? It is. Oh, me and Tim have had some fantastic evenings in there, haven't we? Do you prefer TFW 158s or Northern 158s? Ooh, Northern 158s. I like a Northern 158. Has to be said. All things buses, 37, yeah. How many stops later? I know, I've, I've just been yelling valley at all the stations until we got there. Uh, you've capped 158758. I know I've worked 158758. Where have I been on 758? Places. 758, one journey. <laughs> so I've not spent a lot of time on it. Leads to Manchester, Victoria, 27th of January 2017. On the 7.51 from Leeds to Manchester, Victoria. There you go. A while ago. We'll just, we'll just coast now. If you actually look on the timetable, uh, Hollyhead, Platform 3, we've got no time to be there. So we'll just coast. We'll enjoy the uh, enjoy the run. I mean, I'm assuming this next signal's red. It's probably approach controlled, to be honest with you, but uh, there we go. Still never been to the Grove, though. I'm more of a spoons man. Ooh, no, you've got to go in the Grove. Got to go in the Grove. It's lovely. You'll see Mr. Tim. His permanent residence in the corner is Mr. Tim. Oh, Nathan Jordan's with us as well. He's been at work today. Oh, he's gone to work. He went to work at 1900. He had to go just as the stream started. Oh, no. Terrible. Terrible. We had some wheel slip this morning, Imran. We couldn't get going out of York. The wheels were spinning all over the place. There were engines up and down at the uh, like tarts knickers, like I say. And uh, flipping out, yeah. I thought we were never going to get back. Uh, City Bus Manager Joe Plus video will be out on uh, on Saturday, which is tomorrow, little station. I've not uh, I've not recorded it yet. Oh, flipping at TJ, donated £5 through Super Chat, buy a meal deal. Oh, well, do you know what? After this, I need to go and get some tea. Uh, I need to uh, watch the steep descent down to the station. Oh, do you not go in the grove anymore, Tim? Oh, flipping heck. We'll have to make a point of doing so, won't we? Uh, do you think you will ever be a train driver? I don't know about that one, uh, Red Arrow. I don't know about that one. I'd love to be, but it's just one of those things. You can uh, you can keep applying, can't you? And if it happens, it happens. Um, the only problem that I've got is um, it, it, it's one of those. The um, if I if I did get a a, rail, a train driver's job, there's obviously a lot of studying that goes into it while you're doing your training. And it might impact the amount of time I've got to do this, you know, with, with you guys, and that would be that would be quite sad. I know it's one of those things; it's not forever, is it? But you know, it, 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 it's, there's a lot of uh... oh no, XC guard Tim, it's not the place it was. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I'm sure you'll have found another watering hole, won't you? For uh, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to make a point of it. We keep saying we're going to do it, don't we? And we just never seem to. Joe Holland, hello, hello. 
things are absolutely fantastic. Just arriving into uh, into Hollyhead, our final stop. And yeah, tea at 9pm. I'm probably going to have my tea at about 10 or 11 because I start work at 0140. And uh, so I got up at 5 today. Ish. 5 today. And uh, I had some breakfast. So I had my, uh, I had my shredded wheat at, uh, at 6pm because yes, I am 75. Uh, shredded wheat at about 6pm. And then I need something to keep me going all night because there's, uh, there's nothing to... Oh, I see that steep descent running away. I need to keep going until 8 o'clock in the morning. There's nowhere to get any food whilst you're, uh, whilst you're out and about. There's certainly nowhere whilst you're on the train. So, uh, yeah, right, well, there we go. That is our final, uh, our final stop. We've been going two hours on this gorgeous First Northwestern 158. I really do hope you have all enjoyed yourselves. Thank you so, so much to everybody uh, for turning up. It's been really, really good. I've, uh, I've had a fantastic time. Lewis Mallet, Mr. Bus Lad, Jasmine, Mike, of course, uh, Magic Toad, both doing the admin there, uh, Mike and Magic Toad. Uh, Tim, of course, it's been absolutely great to hear off you, my love. We'll have to organise ourselves and do something soon. Uh, how, who else have we got? Let's have a look through the chat quickly. Uh, Imran, of course, can't forget Imran, Nathan Jordan. Better late than never, love. Uh, Mr. Bus Lad, I've probably mentioned you already. Uh, and, of course, BMW M5, LJ, uh, and Nathan Lowe, of course. Thank you so, so much for joining us. We will do something else at some point. I'm really enjoying this train sim streaming. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll absolutely have to make a point of doing it again. As for over the weekend, Saturday night, Sunday night, I am in both nights. Uh, so we might do something, but no promises. I might just fancy a, a weekend in front of the telly. Other than that, thanks so, so much for watching, everybody. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.